Welcome, my name is Minu Sharma, and I'm the Acting Chief Marketing Officer for G Digital. I'm really excited to be here for our first LinkedIn Live. We are hosting our preview for our first ever virtual user conference for G Digital. It's just next week. And today I'm excited that I'm joined by our business general managers, Jim Walsh, general manager of Grid Software Solutions, Linda Ray, general manager of power generation and oil and gas software, Richard Kennedy, general manager of manufacturing and digital plant. It's putting it lightly to say this year has been anything but normal. But with change comes opportunity for growth and new ways of working, many of which will spotlight during next week's user conference. The theme of this user conference is industrial superhero. And our customers and partners who are on the front lines of the world's toughest industrial cha challenges. We recognize that in these times of crisis and change, we must all come together and unite across industries to help one another. And our hope with our user conference is that in learning from each other's success and opportunity, we can build upon our own tools and technology to transform how industry solves its toughest challenges to put industrial data to work. So let me get started with our panelists. Richard, could you tell me a bit more about where you're seeing these changes in your industry? Yeah, thanks, Ninu. And and I'm just super excited about this conference. You know, to, to answer your question, a couple of changes we're seeing within the manufacturing and digital plant space is around our customers facing challenges with, with items like remote management and ways to scale solutions around their enterprise. You know, to, to bring up an example, the pandemic was not something you could fully plan for. We had a number of customers who found their operations teams in need of immediate remote management capability. We were very happy to be able to transition customers literally within hours where they were remotely able to monitor and, and operate their digital plants. Essentially, our customers were looking to transition to a anytime, anywhere access type of capability. And we know these aren't isolated challenges. I'm, I'm really looking forward to our event next week so that our customers can hear from one another and discover what's working and helping them to solve these new challenges. So Linda, I know there's lots of things going on in power generation and oil and gas. What are your thoughts on this topic? Yeah, Richard, we are in a very similar situation. Our customers, first of all, have had to deal with a global pandemic. And in many cases, operate generation plants or refineries with a much reduced work staff. They're doing that on top of having to deal with the energy transition that's been going on for a few decades and that will continue to accelerate. The influx of renewables is really changing the dynamic of the energy sector. A volatile oil price environment, which makes it challenging for our customers to budget investments, deal with their operating expenses, and then significant changes in their workforce in work people coming in and coming out and having to deal with the digital challenges that transformations pose on them, both in terms of their work processes as well as the change management that they have to go through. Linda and uh, Richard, I mean, that's just uh, really stood out to me. And it's something that um, our CEO, Pat Byrne, has been talking about a lot in terms of the challenges our customers are facing. And he's going to discuss in his keynote next week is that in many ways, it seems like 2020 has just accelerated the digital and business transformation that was already underway for many of our customers. Jim, I'd love for you to weigh in with your thoughts on that. Sure, Nino. You know, yeah, it's a great point. I think, it, you know, as we look back at, at the onset of, of the pandemic in particular, I think everybody's made reference to the fact that none of us could have planned for this. Yet, all of us had to deal with it. And as I think about our business, I've just really been in awe in terms of how our employees and our customers have found new ways to work together, often underpinned by digital technology how we communicate, how we work together, how we collaborate. All of those have required us to, to really reset some of the old paradigms in terms of how we worked. And digital has been a huge part of that. And so I'm really excited for us to, to share some of those best practices 
share some of those learnings, uh, even share some things that, that we tried that didn't work perhaps, all in the spirit of making us uh, collectively better and in a position to work more effectively than we ever have together. I think as I, I, I took a step back and I thought about why was the transition as seamless as it, as it felt for us, I guess what I, what I ultimately landed on is we've been in the midst of uh, a fairly intense digital transformation with many of our customers for a period of a couple of years. You know, when you think about the market that my business operates in, uh, transmission and distribution, Linda made reference to this notion of the energy transformation. And what we're talking about there is really the rise of renewable energy sources and the challenges that those cause on the grid. You know, we're talking about decentralization of generation assets. And again, the, the impact that, that they have on the grid. We're talking about digitization and the fact that every enterprise is becoming more and more digital. All of those things, when you put them together, are things that we've been really aggressively attacking, I think in a market leading way, uh, shoulder to shoulder with our customers. And I think next week will be a wonderful opportunity to share some of the exciting developments, what our roadmaps look like, and how we plan to continue to work shoulder to shoulder with our customers to ensure that they are uh, as successful and prosperous as they possibly can be. So really looking forward to it, uh, Ninu interested in your thoughts. No, you're you're exactly right, um, Jim. I think one of the most exciting parts of next week is that across all our businesses, we continue to invest in products and technologies um, and our overall portfolio vision. And I imagine this is something attendees can expect to learn more about um, for the user conference. Richard, I, I would love for you to highlight some of the great things coming out on the manufacturing side. Yeah, and you know, there, there's going to be a ton to share next week. We got really a, a great packed um, agenda for the manufacturing digital plant side. And one of the things, again, that's very exciting for us is we have an unprecedented portfolio level product launch or release that we have coming in the next couple of months. And I know this is going to really excite our customers because it's just packed with capabilities. You know, the innovation that we're going to bring forward is going to include things like what I spoke about earlier, extensions to our mobility and remote management, uh, new ways of doing rapid application development, industrial data management, without having to be a data scientist, our hybrid cloud solutions, and really the modernization of the user experience. So just packed with a lot of great things. And, and I know that our customers are gonna be super excited with it. So back to you, Ninu. Thanks, and absolutely, Richard. We've, you know, we've talked a lot today about our customers, and I'm really looking forward to celebrating them as our industrial superheroes even more next week. I think what I'd love to leave everyone with is, um, what are you most excited about for this year's user conference? Linda, let's start with you. Okay. Well, first, I'm excited just to see how the technology goes with a virtual conference. It is obviously a little bit new for us, but I think it can really help us explore ways that we can share and collaborate virtually in other forms and settings in the future. Uh, secondly, and most importantly, I'm really looking forward to hearing from our customers and to having our customers share their stories with each other. Just as, as Jim suggested, both things that have gone well, where they've found value, and where they've stumbled and what they've learned. We have, just like Richard said, a great lineup of customers and information to share, starting right out of the gate with NIPA for the power generation track and Exxon for, for the oil and gas track. So leading customers in their spaces with really good digital transformation stories and experiences that I think can help other customers learn and adapt so that they can find faster time to value, find ways to get through those change management challenges even faster and really take full advantage of their digital transformations. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Richard, how about you? Yeah, I, 
so many great things going on, Linda, and um, you know, great new features as I spoke to a little bit earlier. But I think the one thing that, that really stands out for me is I love that our customers will have the ability to explore what we have in a virtual exhibit hall, literally tens of twenties of different booths that they can approach from their dimension, if you will. They can tailor it to their experience, their specific industry, their product interest. They can interact and see how our customers are utilizing capabilities. They can interact with our product managers as an example. Just a great amount of things to explore and see really on their own path, the way that they want to navigate through the conference. So I'm real excited about that. Jim, yourself? Yeah, Richard, uh, all the stuff that, that, that you and Linda said, plus, look, I just get excited about an opportunity to be together. Um, albeit virtually, but nevertheless together. I think we as a business, in fact, I know we as a business get smarter when we listen to customers. You know, customers without any question determine our success. And so what I love about these events is the opportunity to do as much or more listening than we do talking. Now, there's a lot of stuff that we're excited to share. Uh, we will be talking about our priorities as we exit 20 and heading into 21. Uh, we feel like we've got very much a market back agenda, but gosh, nothing serves as better validation for that than to, than to be able to listen to our customers, tell their stories, talk about what they need, talk about where the gaps are. We always leave those sort of events uh, smarter than when we came into them. So that's really what I'm looking forward to. Um, any excuse for us to be together with our customers, I think is is uh, a really good thing. Nino, back to you. Great. You know, Jim, Linda, Richard, I can't thank you enough for just uh, sharing a few thoughts on what our customers and partners uh, can expect next week. It's going to be um, a jam packed three days and uh, we look forward to celebrating them um, as we share a lot of information that we hope uh, really is useful as well. And then just for everybody who joined us today, we are also very excited. Um, our GE Aviation Digital Group will also be um, in attendance at the event and they have some great content uh, planned to share with their customers. And we're just excited to welcome them um, as part of uh, our G Digital User Conference. So please do join us. Um, we start at 1 p.m. Eastern on uh, October 13th on Tuesday uh, with a kickoff from our uh, CEO, Pat Byrne, and um, we'll have tracks across all these amazing industries that we serve. So thank you for joining us today and we look forward to seeing you.